Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the visibility widget. As you can see I've created an app and it's just got a column within it with a container and an app bar. So um, first of all what we're going to need for this tutorial we're going to need a is visible um, variable which will be equal to true and we're also going to add a switch to our column here and our value will be is visible and unchanged we will set state of is visible equal to value and now we pop reloaded and our switch um, flicks but so far it doesn't do anything our box isn't disappearing so to do that we're going to come over here and we'll wrap the widget and that will be visibility and now we can hit reload even though we've wrapped it with a visibility we still need to give it a value so that um, it will work so that's visible and we'll pass it as visible to that. We come over here to our emulator and because um, our switch is off, it's not visible, now it's on it is. But as you can see, every time we switch it on and off, the um, switch will change um, the position it's in. If we come over to visibility, um, we see that the replacement, which is what the visibility widget will replace um, its child with, is essentially a box with no size. So what we can do is we can pass in our own replacement. So replacement, and instead we can um, replace it with an empty container. And we'll just put closed up transparent. I'll reload that. Now that we've hot reloaded, you can see that once you press it, instead it will replace it with a transparent box, so um, nothing is there. So that's it for today, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.